Set the hook. God. Stay on him, son. Come on. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Let me tighten this up. Oh, gosh, that's a good one. Come on, come on. Stay on him. Stay on him, son. Come on. Stay on him. Come on. Get him up. Get him up. Really. Come on. Come on. Come on. Crack back. Don't let him pull you in. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Real, 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 son. That's a big one. Come on. Stay on him. Don't let him jump. Don't let him jump. Come on, son. Yeah! Let's freaking go, boy! Let's go! Come on, boy! Yeah! Let's go, kid! Let's go, buddy! Look at that. Let's get him in the middle of the floor. Oh, my gosh, son. What a freaking giant. Hey, let's go, baby. Oh, give me five. Oh. Oh my gosh! Wow. That I can't. I cried the first time I watched it. And I'm tearing oh. up because that is pure unmitigated joy. Wow! Right? Wow! As a father, I have a a son. His name is Kobe. He's only three years old, so we're not fishing yet. But you look at that and you just think about your moments as a dad, and you think about those moments with your son that you've had and that you're looking forward to having. And that one does hits me right in the feels. I know. Right? right? In the I feels. mean, you're not getting that moment on the iPad. Oh, you see what right. I'm saying? Yes. Right? They're out. Yes. They're doing something together. And yes. they're just it's, it's just so happy. Well, millions of people watched that heartwarming father-son fishing trip in, on social media this week. I think it has like a couple million views. Sure. And it's so funny because look at his smile right there. And, and it's hard to tell who's more excited, sure. the son or the father. But maybe we can ask them because they both, E.L. Estes and his son, Eddie Jr., join us live <laughs> to talk all about this once-in-a-lifetime catch and wow. more. Well, hello, anglers. How Good are morning. we this morning? We are doing well. How are you doing? Good. <laughs> <laughs> well, so I want to hear from both of you each about, like, how the moment played out. So, uh, all right, Eddie Jr., how about you go first? You tell us what it was like to reel in that big fish. Um, it, it felt good. And then, like... You want to tell them what you were thinking from the cast the catch? Well... I was thinking a fish would be like a bag because they sit on your stuff that people throw out the boat <laughs> and then like, they um like fish hang out by objects in the water right uh -huh. yeah and then what did you do and then I cast by it and then it jumped up and then when the side it jumped up I was so nervous. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, Dad, you take us through the moment for you because, I mean, you, I, I feel like your heart was about ready to just come out your chest. Absolutely. I mean, I know, obviously, you could see from the video, I, typically what happens is when we fit together, I let him kind of do his thing on the boat, and that's part of, you know, him enjoying the moment uh, with us being on the water but I'm just casting, doing my thing. And all I hear, um, if you slow the video down, I'm not even looking. I just hear, Kadoosh, right? Like the big <laughs> explosion. And obviously I'm like, set the hook, which he had already done, but I didn't know. And I was, you know, obviously I'm ramped up. And from being on the water, you know, there's certain explosions you hear, you know, it's a big fish. Um, so when that happened, obviously you see me, I'm running around crazy. Um, and I'm just excited for him because I understand the moment, right? Like my, my heart's beating out of my chest um, and just excited to see him um, with all the time he's put on on the water and spent time with me to have that opportunity. Uh, I mean, that's once in a lifetime. Sure. And, E.L., just to kind of uh, piggyback off of that right there, there are so many stories out there are negative stories about fathers or lack thereof. So for you, who is out there having this moment with your son, how does that fishing trip, how do you look to translate that into some of the other life lessons that you want to teach him for his own growth and maturation? Yeah, so um, if you hear probably on the tail end of that video, um, me say, or on that one particular, you hear me say, that's what happens, or, or you see what happens when you change your attitude mm -hmm. um, and you just fish, right? Um, and I'll say a, a lot of the things that I get um, for parenting uh, my kids, you know, that's, that's a biblical perspective. And 
and understanding where, where my love comes from and being able to pour that down into them. But those principles, as you can tell, carry over into life, right? We're gonna face adversity. Um, so in those times of adversity, right? Like we can't, we can't lose our minds or be frantic. Um, we gotta calm ourselves and focus. And there's a lot of times fishing and being in the outdoors, um, especially when you're uh, bass fishing and you're chasing fish and we don't use live bait, you have to be patient. Um, you have to be focused and intentional about your cast and what you do. And, and we know as adults, that's important in life um, and being able to focus and, and have an intentionality. Um, so it, it's a blessing. My father uh, taught me and, and um, I just have the, the luxury to, to pass that on to my kids. Well, you are an exemplary father. Yeah. Um, little Eddie, actually, <laughs> big fish Eddie, excuse me. It's lucky, lucky to have you as a dad. So I just wanna, so big fish Eddie, who's the better fisherman, you or your dad? Um, Oh man, you see him pause on that? Like, I think he thinks for a second. He <laughs> you know, a, a little father son is pretty good, right? Dad, we haven't seen you catch a fish, bro. We got Junior catching the fish. Yeah, you're right. I think, you know, people say that, and I'm like, he, he really, he's so good. And you see, at six years old, he made a perfect cast, right? Yeah. Like, so he has the potential to be better than me. But, you know, as fathers, we're not going to let a leap moment be better than me. Well, I tell you, you should be ambassadors for the sport because you right. showed just how exciting it can be and just how priceless time together as a family can be. Thank you guys so much. Thank you for sharing that moment with all of us, and thank you for joining us here on Good Day This Morning. All right. Thank you. Have a blessed day. Bye. All right.